Yeah, how we doing today? Welcome back to Classic Large Car Garage. Woo! Today, we are finished with this beautiful little freight liner. And what we're gonna do, finishing touches wise, she's dusty, she's dirty. So we're gonna go around and we are going to wash it. Wash it down and then the polisher is gonna come back after all that's said and done. And he's gonna do some final, final hand polishing on things so that everything looks good for the customer. So, probably not gonna show washing it because that's boring, but once it's done, we'll come back, take a look at everything, and we can go over all the things that we put on it and kind of say our thanks to those who uh, helped us with it. So, we'll see you in a minute. Hey, <laughs> next day here, uh, we got this truck all cleaned up and we're gonna walk around and just kind of go over it and obviously first thing that stands out is we got some dual exhaust on here and it uh it's pretty cool it sounds good um gets a little rowdy with that detroit and uh but i think it sounds pretty cool it's unique the detroit so it's sound unique um next thing we had basically everything that was aluminum polished on this truck and we'll show the grill and stuff like that looks really good so thanks to uh, DT's uh, paint and polishing if I'm saying that correctly if I'm not forgive me but uh, yeah they did a really good job on a lot of the aluminum they did the wheels they did the box here which we turned into the battery which um, or it, doubles at it as the battery box as well that's where the battery box was originally they wanted steps so we got that tanks are done wheels are done here I am standing in the way um, now I'm, got the visor oh, excuse me <laughs> got the visor on there looking good and then uh, it's kind of hard to see because the Sun's not quite hitting it right there's there's some good sheen to it I mean that grill turned out really good then we got the emblem up top they polished all that got our bumper on with the lights LED headlights walking around we added these wheel flares uh, those are looking nice again the tank got polished on this side it's not even in the Sun but it's shining Yee! really nice um, and then the deck plate goodness whoo that is bright <laughs> I just got blinded so we've got a uh, front section and then we got a back section and then we got a um, fifth wheel ball mount because they wanted to uh, pull their fifth wheel trailer with this truck this is basically just a toy toy hauler for them they previously had these fenders painted and um, so we just mounted them put the uh, lights in I gotta go back to the front bumper. There's a lot of things behind the bumper that we can't see. Um, we had some extra brackets made there by a fab shop, Nick's fab shop. He did a great job. And then uh, he did the tow pin for us. There's a, a plate behind there. So that's nice and reinforced back there. It's a terrible idea to do a pull point on your bumper but that's how Freightliner did it it's not connected to any cross members or anything like that so if anybody does any tugging on that hopefully lightly if they get stuck um, it's a stronger plate behind there it looks really good so thanks to Nick's Fab Shop did a great job um, let's see I know I'm forgetting somebody oh so around here so originally this truck had single exhaust on it we did dual exhaust. We had two, nobody makes these elbows with the, uh, it almost has like a donut ring on the top. So I ended up stealing one of the pipes from Tina, our Peterbilt out front. We had to kind of cut it apart. <laughs> and then we had to make our own pipe. Travis bent this angle up to match the one on the passenger side so it all looks factory it all looks really good got our spring steel this bracket was already here maybe I've already talked about this in previous videos but anyway and then since this is an old cab over 
um, Travis measured off of the opposite side for these brackets. So this lower bracket and then the one up top there. So he basically mimicked all the measurements from the other side, cut everything, we welded it, actually looks better than factory. Then we had uh, Stoller Body Shop, so thanks to them, they painted the brackets to, for us so that it would match, uh, color match. And then obviously we had to get some, I'm not showing you into the sun here, it's bright out here. Um, so there's two other brackets up there that hold the U-bolt clamps. <clears throat> had those painted as well um let's see here but no everything everything turned out really nice and really we are we're done with it so hopefully we can present it to the customer and they're satisfied um there was one thing we did not get done on the list which i'm still doing some um investigations on which is trying to put power steering on this did not have it there's not a whole lot of information out there about these old Detroits, so maybe if somebody's watching, and um, I did get some names and information from um, Mr. Dane Scott. I know he's got a YouTube channel, so um, kind of talked with him. He gave me some contacts. I need to reach out to them yet, so hopefully if we figure something out, maybe the customer will bring the truck back and we can get that figured out. But turned out really good. Looks really neat. It's got that vintage look to it with a little bit of modern modern style to it and um, it looks it looks really neat we do have to put the wheel covers back on the hub covers so it's one thing I forgot but other than that we're gonna sign out there um, I know this series was kind of all over the place we've had this truck for a while but um, as you can see in our shop we do a lot of stuff so thanks for sticking along with us hope you can uh, give this truck a thumbs up hopefully you like it if you don't that's why we all we're all different so <laughs> like share subscribe and we'll see you in the next one because we're always working on a cab over somewhere so have a great day or an evening or a weekend wherever it comes out at